trying to keep strong And nothing doesn't work And everyone's a jerk You don't know what to do But just keep your head strong And look up to the sky And ask God for forgiveness If he knows why eh, It's just another day And right now I'm just singing this song Can we can play When it gets rough, you can smile. Just sit and think for a while. You can't do nothing much, and all you need is a simple touch. Look for comfort and look for faith, and please use life wisely. Don't waste. Life, everybody has problems, but if you just pray and keep faith, something will happen. Cause I've been waiting very long, but I still sit and sing a song. Trees around me, rivers. Life is going, I don't know, but we still continue strong, cause we're not, we're not the only one. So think about your problems, think about your problems, and try your best to solve them, cause... <laughs> wicked, wicked, wicked. Come on. This is Expo Stevie right there, <laughs> man Junior and George's. George is on the guitar and you have Junior singing a really heartfelt song. He had me going, he had me crying. <laughs> that was deep, that was deep. Good vibes. Ask us to be careful with the things we do. Cause there is a payment for we all And judgment day I see lots of wars broke up in the Middle East Today I learn from the game of the peace Yes! That's the man George is here Recently competed in the Domfesta last weekend currently has an um, album out and he's one of our local artists here in Kalibishi doing his thing Yes, Mr. Georges, give us an introduction. Tell us who you are, my brother. Yeah, well, my name is George Augustus, and I'm from this part of this island, Kalibishi. But I didn't grow up here. I grew up in the foreign and came in early in the 80s. I've been back to Dominica, and since that I like the environment, I decided to stay home. As an artist, I do craft, I do, I do lots of arts and crafts, and a little of my music, yeah. When I see craft, I wonder if you would like to see the craft I've got inside there. I got some nice craft work. Okay. Yeah. We'll check out that craft. Yeah. 
we're talking about in a few minutes. But tell us something. Who exactly is Georges? I mean, where did you get that inspiration from, my brother? Well, to me, I had it. I had the inspiration in me, but I didn't even know I had music in me. But it's for following for different stars, you know, like Mali, even the choral stars in Dominica, like um, Gordon Anderson, people like Chubby, you know, um, Jeff Joe, Anthony Gussie. Those guys were the guys I used to, you know, admire them and listen to the music a lot, Ophelia, you know. So you grew up listening to a lot of music. Yeah, and trying to play music. Because you were glued and hooked on music yeah. at a very young age. Yeah, very young age. Yeah. But I listened to you on the interview on, uh, on, on the DBS radio station two yeah. weeks ago, yeah. and you said that you were, when you were a kid, you used to make your own guitars. Yeah. Tell us something about that. Yeah, well, Maybe all that is what caused me to be an artist all now so because I do a lot of creating. I sometimes used to take a tin and maybe four strings and try to tune them on a piece of wood with some tin and I'll try to, you know, get the room if I so to go on it. So then I'll be able to hold the chords I want and you know make it sound like what I want to play. Yeah. And I also saw some guys in full show that is in St. Lucia Castries that I grew up with. Those guys always love music. Sometimes they come meet me on the roadside, he tell me I have a box guitar. And we would play some music, I have a little keyboard, and we would play some music of maybe Gramax or Chubby, you know? Yeah. And I grew up with that in me after I left and came to Dominica after Hurricane David. Yeah. And I met that band here, Solid 7, in Calibishi. Solid 7 was on the hill here. Yeah, who, who are the members of Solid 7 again? I heard about had, that band. We had guys like Desmond, the keyboardist. We had Tito, he was a rhythm guitarist. We had Carl Kuhn, he was the lead guitarist. Then we had Garrett, that was the bass man. And we had Bukit, the drummer. We had Steve, Steve was a standby drummer. He was playing the, the cowbell, but yeah. he was a very good drummer. I heard many stories about that, that Solid yeah, 7, yeah. you all caused a lot of damage in yeah, terms of music yeah. with all the whole island. Yeah. And you you guys were you know, very good at what you did. Yeah, and these guys play a lot of um, um, Haitian music too. They were very compa. Good at, yeah, a lot of compa. Yeah. During the time of Tabu Combo, yeah, we had a lot of Tabu Combo music from these guys. And they played a lot of um, reggae, um, Bob Marley songs. And you'd say it was, it, it was them made the song when you heard them play it. Because they used to play everything, just how it goes. Original. Yeah, I heard yeah. Steve, Steve was a very good drummer. Yeah, Steve was, <laughs> he, he is, up to now, he's still a good drummer. Yeah. yeah. So tell us something about your album. Well, I don't really have a serious album. I still call it a demo. I do it as nice music, you know, everybody like it. But I would like to do something that is more... Professional. Know, well, well composed and put together. I not, I wouldn't really say well composed, but I mean to improvise my music a little more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like I have some instruments in there, but the instruments I need to have in my songs, like brass, proper brass music, you know. Yeah. yeah. So really, what you're trying well, to say is that we need better facilities yeah. and to see if we can get a hand, you know, because we're trying to get everything established. Because right now. You know, priorities have to come first, and if we want to make something happen, we have to put our all in it. Yeah. And we need help and support, and that's what a lot of us lacking—the help and the support. support. You and see, the facilities. You see, it's very difficult to get help. You know. Yes, it is. But it is easier to get help when you have a group and when you're well organized. Yeah. So yeah. what I would advise you guys to do is organize yourself. Start displaying your talent. Don't have your talent hidden. You know, let people, we can link up. You know, you can link up with Expose TV and we can do shows. You don't have to do shows just to make money. But, you know, we have a focus and a plan in mind. You know, you know where we want to go and you can, you know, organize some shows just to, just to showcase the talent. Because Kalbishi, you know, has talent. You know, and then now you can start working on the, on the, on the help that you need because people can help you if you don't ask for help. And one way of asking for help is by showing your talent. Yeah. 
you know. Yeah. I I believe that. But let me tell you, just before the the show, I was very short of money. I tried to get help from different things, um, establishments. Around. Yeah. But everybody was like in two minds to help me. Yeah. I only get me. I got about four white people alone who participate. Each of them, one give me, two of them give me a hundred dollars. One give me twenty dollars. One give me fifty dollars. Yeah. And the lodges lady give me ten dollars. Yeah. You know. I mean, I didn't give her any money to put in her pocket. It's yeah. Not me her yeah. What she give me is satisfied. But you see, the thing is that you, know, you see I, what I you see what I realize in life is that people have to have belief in you, exactly. and they have to know what you're about, yeah. what you're capable of. What I need to do. You yeah. know, if they haven't seen you as yet, it's like yeah. they want to help. But hey, is this guy really serious? Is he gonna waste what is money? Yeah. yeah. So that is why you have to, you know, we have to come together as young people and work together. See what happened? You know? now? I wrote some letters. I made some letters. See how serious I was. I wrote some letters and I gave them lots of good details. You know what I would like to do. You know for my community. Yeah. You know, and later I would be grateful to them because they have the, the establishment. Maybe I could do some advertising for them. You know. Yeah. Favor had win and you know. Yeah. But I myself can't push myself by alone because I must, have, I must get help. You must have help. In anything you do, you must have help. One hand can clap. Yeah. yeah. So where would you, you where would you like to see your music in the next, you know, maybe two years, one year? Well, I would like to have my music known worldwide. I wish I could have it known worldwide. But also my music has gone to America and England and different places already. But I've never performed those music for anybody. Nobody ever asked me to come and perform any show. You know? I have a, um, album, a CD with five songs. And some people have the music in, in the States. We have one of the songs they call in Tibet. Tibet Kamodi. Remember when we sing songs with people? Yes. Yeah. We, we perform that song. We perform that song with <laughs> tambour drums. But we never perform it with um, electrical instruments. And, you know? Can, can can you give our viewers, exposed TV fans, a little bit of that, that song that you're talking about? Okay, before George performed that song, he's just going to show us another part of his talent, his arts and craft, and his craft shop. Yeah, that's where you do craft. Yeah, so we are here in the craft shop, and we're just going to show you some of his talent. Lots of designs on calabash, you know. These are calabash bags. These are my cabin. I was just hold them up and just explain. I've been doing some practicing for the for the shoes so I had my things and then remove it and put them on the side, but all these things are my works. Ah. All these things, especially with the bikes. Carvings, Calabash work, little bikes. Show us the bike properly. These are Ali Davidson bikes. Ali Davidson. Yeah. Ali Davidson. Out of bamboo and Calabash. Bamboo and Calabash. Ali Davidson. Chopper. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you have plans for the reunion? Are you going to display? Are you going yeah, to have a... Yeah, I'm planning to do some display in June. Okay, yeah. exhibition. Yeah, after exhibition. I have some more things to do. I have something that is done other than things. So I'll work on it somewhere. Okay. Yeah. 
So yeah, you have it when you come down to um, Kalbishi for the reunion and you want to get some nice African heritage souvenirs, you could check George's Point Baptist Ridge. But right now we are going back to our seating area where George is, you, is going like to perform. I, I believe it's better you perform the song, yeah, because it's more original for the people. You know, let people see you really perform the song and know exactly where, yeah, judges really have talent. <laughs> Of it, there's a zero impact, but I have it on CD. It's a very nice song. And some people in America heard that song, and they said, oh, We play that again in a party. <laughs> yeah, uh, I played over and over, over and over. It was a very hot song. They had to dance like animal biting, you know, Tibet come out them way. Mean that biting me. Yeah. yeah, real cruel vibes. Yeah. The last time in the show, it was nice, you know, but I had a problem with the music. Mm -hmm. well, I didn't get anybody to take out my voice on my music and the, the musical part. The instrument. Oh. Okay. And the guy now that was organizing mm -hmm. tell me he's going to do that for me the night. Mm -hmm. So I go and put my confidence in this and check me one. Don't wait in the studio. Mm -hmm. Next day when I come to perform, my voice still on the CD. That is why I lose. Okay. Yeah, that is why I lose. Lip singing. Yeah. So use that strategy to make somebody else win. Yeah. So the next time they must come good. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's good that you could take part in a competition. You know, That's let my food time. yeah, let a lot of people see yeah. you know see you in action. What you can do. That's my food time. Let people know who you are. Yeah. I've been to the Caras Minia, the first ever Caras Minia in Dominica. That is in um, 2005. Yeah. And in 2009, I was in the Dom Festa. I made that song. This is a formula I recall. Yeah. That show was my show, but I didn't have no, no, no presentation. I didn't have no backup singer, so I was posting on stage. Yeah. 
Look this time now, you go up again. My music, I got a problem with my music. Mm. Yeah. So, I still doesn't really worry because all that make me strong and we get smarter. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I was even planning to go up for Calypso. Of course, you could try Calypso yeah. as well. Because mm. I have a song I start on my own. You know, I just have one voice of it. Okay. Yeah. Well, you have enough time. I have one verse and the um, and the chorus. My need to write on the two verses. Mm -hmm. It's about my own self. Because I grew up in the foreign. Yeah. Can we give a little piece of it? Yes, yeah, go. Let's go. Quick. Growing up in a foreign land, knowing that I am a Dominican. I've been growing up with my granny, and granny always tell me, Dominica is a very nice place to be. But as I grow in up as a adult on my own, I decide to come back and to visit my home. But when I analyze the environment down here, I ain't seen nothing in the foreign to compare. That's the first verse. Yeah, yeah. good vibes. The cross. Solid. Yeah. This is the land where I belong. She is a land that keeps me strong. Even though I go away. Expo TV. Mossy TV. The love that she possesses Nixon representing. Is the cost of my progress. That's Thanks for watching. Georges so and Junior. Two talented people in Calibishi. So yes, Big up the youth. Sing, no Big up I the love people in Calibishi. One love. We're young, we're moving on. We must go on. Strength. Mm -hmm.